welcome to my studio and let's all have a little sip this is a good way to end the day Cheers, everyone. This is the first video of a series that I've created to help you understand values and how to create a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional surface. This is my setup. I created five tonal values and grays ranging from white to black, only five. That's all we need to create a three-dimensional painting. And then we're going to see how these different five values, we can create five values in red. And I'm going to zoom out now and we can create five values in blue. We can create five values in yellow and we can create five values in green. So let's go ahead and start with this black and white so you understand where every value goes. And so here is my setup for you. I'm going to paint five little canvases and I'm going to demonstrate how the color is not important as much as the values that you're using to paint each color. Oh my gosh, I know how to paint a circle from memory. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. So, I know that you all know how to make a circle from memory. So, let's make this really, really cute circle. And I also recommend don't be lazy between values. I want you to clean the brush in between values so we don't pick paint or values that don't belong to that area. see me adding the cast shadow. What's that value? It's value 5 on my scale. Once you decide where your light source is, in this case, coming from top left, eh, you know where the shadow will form, right there on the right-hand side. And that also will dictate where the highlight will go. To me, that is the most fun value of all. It's the reflection that really gives that three-dimensionality to your objects. And you can add them even if you don't see them. Reflections are great. And so here we go. Let's do the same thing with reds.
you repeat an exercise, the better you will get into memorizing it. And it may look boring, but it is a great way to understand and repetition, 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 and practice. And why not cover all these colors and reveal every single time the same thing so we learn and memorize it. Stay tuned to the end to see how we mix the tonal values on red, blue, yellow, and green. And also, guys, watch for the following videos on the same subject where I keep improving on these spheres. And here are all the five colors all done and how fun this was. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And don't forget to subscribe.